afternoon. Temporality may sound like a field of theoretical physics, or at least the subject of a Star Trek episode. However, it is indeed a quantifiable aspect of Western art music. It occupies the minds of composers, theorists, and musicologists. What may surprise you further is how it filters into music of the 21st century. So, how does the study of time relate to music? How do you examine it? It appears as historical themes in new music. It surfaces as old styles used in new ways. It's felt in musical structures that play with our concept of time. This is the focus of my research, specifically regarding the music of Robert Carl. Robert Carl is a Southern transplant in New England, teaching and composing in Hartford, Connecticut. His compositions draw on a myriad of styles and narrative forms that alter the context of his music, throwing it out of time in three particular ways. The first of these is most superficial, reusing music from the past. For instance, his saxophone quartet, Duke Meets Mort, uh, uses a melody from Ellington's Mood Indigo and draws it out through the stasis of avant-garde composer Morton Feldman. By reimagining this melody, he adds a historical dimension to what the audience is hearing. The second of these methods it digs deeper, uh, from moving from musical content to style. Uh, for example, one of his piano works, Swing Shift, combines the driving rhythms of 1980s postmodernism with the jazzy harmonies of the big band era. Here he digs deeper, drawing that historical dimension to include genres and styles of the past. The last way Robert Carl throws music out of time is through the listening experience itself. All, all music is linear, it starts and stops at prescribed times, and uses melody and harmony to pace that movement. However, that momentum can be suspended or reversed, which Robert Carl does with precision in orchestral works such as his rocking chair serenade. He subverts listener expectations by mixing up elements that would normally draw the listener forward. It's been said, without time there is no music. And Robert Carl exploits this in his works with great precision. He manipulates content, style, and structure in ways that make the listener pay attention to time, techniques other living composers do as well. Uh, by studying Carl's methods and techniques, we're better able to understand how composers of the 21st century are broadening listening experiences. Thank you.